Hello everyone. Welcome back to another excited Excel tutorial. In today's video we're going to learn how to create a dynamic calendar in Excel by using simple Excel array formula. As you can see here, when I change the month and the year, the calendar is updating automatically. Without further delay let's move into the tutorial. As you know a calendar month has two dimensions, week number and the week day. The maximum week number of a month can be 6. And the week days will be 7. By using this information, first I am going to create a 6 by 7 matrix. For this we can use Excel array formula. If you have Office 365 version, you can use Excel sequence function. If you don't have, Please check my previous tutorial on how to create basic Excel array formula. So first I will use Excel sequence function to create the defined matrix. Enter 6 is the rows argument, and 7 for columns argument. Leave the start and steps argument as default to 1. Now the formula is returned a matrix from 1 to 42. If you don't have access to Excel sequence function, you may create this matrix in this way. First create the vertical array. Use semicolon to define the vertical array. Next, add the horizontal array formula. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to create the array formula. But I need the 6 by 7 matrix start from 1 to 42. So I will multiply the vertical array by 7. And hit Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to convert array formula. OK. Next, in cell C3 I will enter the year, let's say 2022. In cell C4, I will create the drop-down menu to select the months. I will use the data validation for this. Good. What I will do next is, to convert this month and year string value to a date format. For this we can use Excel date function. Select cell C3 for year argument. But for month argument we cannot use the C4 value directly. Since, the month in the text format. So, we need to convert the given month name to a number to use in date function. For this, we will use the Excel month function. The serial number argument should be a date value. So, I will use date value function. Now select the cell C4, then type ampersand, enter 1 between the double quotes. Close the brackets. Enter 1 as date value. Now we defined our dynamic date value. Next, select the matrix array, and add this date value. Change the date format to short date. Next I will define which day, the week should be started from. Which is Sunday to Saturday. So I will deduct the weekday of the defined date by using weekday formula. Choose the return type as 1, so the week will be started from Sunday to Saturday. Name the weekdays starting from Sunday to Saturday. If you see the calendar, the calendar is showing the date values for both previous and the next month. To show only the selected month date, I will use simple Excel if function. If the month value of the calendar is equal to the defined date month value, then the calendar to be shown only the current month date, else to be returned blank value. Now the calendar is showing the date only for the selected month and year value. Change the date format only to visible the date value. Great. Now we have completed creating the dynamic calendar in Excel. You may change the format of the calendar so it will be represented nicely.
We will use this calendar for our future tutorial to filter data by selecting Varios date ranges. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.